Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to day 11 of the World Hoop Day Dance Challenge. Yes, World Hoop Day Dance Challenge. Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you the last 16 counts of the chorus. La, 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 which are super fun, super easy, and that's a quick preview of that, and also tell you, give you a fun daily fact if you stick around to the end of why dropping the hoop isn't as bad as you think it is. All right, let's get started right away, shall we? All right, so we got done, we are in the middle of the chorus, actually towards the end, and we just got done doing this, and then one, two, three, and so this was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we are waist hooping. Our hoop is going to the right direction. So uh, I forgot to mention this little fact here that this is a mirror. So this is a mirror image. So see that? Reverse view. So what you're seeing here is reverse view. See? That's backwards. Okay. So since you can't read that, this is my right side. This is my left side. So I'm going to be hooping to my right side being to the right, 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 right. So that's the direction that I'm going, and I'm going to be turning to the right. So what the turn is going to look like is around like so. Okay, so let's break that down without the hoop. So what we're doing is we're taking the arms, the arms will have gone from the chest here to an up position, and we're just going to take the body around and around as we're hooping to the right. So we're going to take this around one, two, three, four. So that's going to be one circular rotation. And the hands are looking like this above the head. So one, two, three, four, facing the back. And then five, six, seven, eight, facing about three quarters because you're going to do one more. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to grab your hoop five, six. And then you're going to step out of it seven, eight. Okay. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four. Grab the hoop. Five, six. Step out. Seven, eight. This is what it looks like with the hoop. So definitely practice that without the hoop first. So you just got done here, and you're gonna go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. How easy is that? Okay, let's try that with the music. I'm gonna cue this up. Let me turn that up just to touch it so you can hear it. Ha! <laughs> okay, let's get that again with the music. Hopefully you'll be able to hear that and see that all at the same time. Let me get that queued up here. That's it. One more practice time, and then we're good for this video. And then I'll tell you why not dropping the why dropping the hoop is a good thing, actually. So let's try that with the music. Back that up just a touch here. One last time. Grab the hoop. Step out. Okay, so that is going to be turning one, two, three, four, turning again, five, six, seven, eight, turn you're just basically staying. So you're turning to the back, turning to the front. You're just going to circle the arms on that last one. Unless you still have a little bit extra room to turn, then you're going to come facing forward all the way. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, and then grab the hoop. Five, six, step out, seven, eight, and it's going to go in the right hand. Right hand, left hand. So, right hand. We were hooping around to the right. So, clockwise that way, okay? Alrighty, that is it for the choreography and for day 11. The nice and short and sweet. I told you it was going to be fast and fun and easy. Okay, so now if you're dropping your hoop, 
you know, that's not a bad thing. And here's why it's not a bad thing. Because it means you are trying new things. And that is a good thing. So if you're not ever dropping your hoop, then you're never trying any new things. And that's no fun. You're not going to grow and expand that way. So by dropping the hoop, and we already learned yesterday about the happy hoop glee word and why that's a cool thing. Well, you drop your hoop, you know, when you drop your hoop, <laughs> that is going to be a fun thing. So when you're dropping the hoop, it's a-okay. All right. So I really appreciate you being here. I told you this is going to be short and sweet. So thank you so much for being here. Now, tomorrow, since we have finished up the whole course, we are going to actually review the beginning part of the dance. And then the next review day, um, the day after that, so instead of learning new material, because I threw in an extra little material last week for the review day. So this, this time we're going to have two nice and easy review days that will actually be review. So the first one, tomorrow, day 12, will be the first section of the dance. And then the second, day 13, will be the chorus, review of the chorus. So we'll have um, almost half of the dance completely done. Actually, technically, more than that because the chorus repeats. So you'll be about two-thirds of the dance done. So there is, um, there's a cool surprise at the end. So, <laughs> so we'll have another verse and then a cool surprise. So I'm working on the cool surprise and all that kind of cool stuff. So, all right. Thanks for, for watching. Rock on, peace out. I'll see you on day 12. Yes, 12. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Take care. Bye.